Hello, this is a Photoshop tutorial on how to make reflection text just like this. Um, this is a requested tutorial because people have been asking me how I've done it on websites and people just want to know so I'm going to show them today. Uh, because of the image code itself through the video rendering, it's quite poor. If you want to see the actual proper video, go to the um, link in the description and it will send you to the proper video. Uh, sorry, the proper image because the video rendering is quite low. Um, for the first up, you want to open up Photoshop. And we want to make a new document. 500 by 500 would do. First off, we want to unlock the back and layer. Duck or double click it. Um, call it whatever you want and leave it stand for now. This is going to be our background layer, so you can call it background layer if you want. And we're going to put a gradient overlay onto it. So just go down here, with the layer selected, go down to FX, um, and go to gradient overlay. Uh, with this done, we're going to pick some gradients that we like. I have a bunch off the internet. I'll give you a link to download them as well. Um, they're pretty easy to find. Just search uh, gradients, Photoshop gradients on the internet, you'll be able to get, get one. So I'm only, I'm only use this one. This is the one the image you saw. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it down a bit, roughly a bit down to it there, and pull the scale up a bit. Just a bit like that. This is just for showing purposes. You can do whatever you want. Okay, with well, the background done. I want to start doing the reflection now, so we're going to get the text. Um, the font, I'm going to use the font that I normally use, which is Bank Gothic one. Doesn't matter what you what you want to use. So we're going to use Bank Gothic. I'll give you the link to the description if you already if you don't already have it. Um, size doesn't matter, but 30, 36 roughly about there, even bigger. And I'll just do test. I'll make this bigger. Probably about 60. Because I have a high highlight in my own background, I'm going to play it just on that to give the actual effect of a reflection. Um, but pretty much you can replace it anywhere you want. Um, this is done. I'm also going to apply a gradient to the um, the text as well to make it um, look better. You can do whatever you want, just do a normal color, but I'm also going to use some of my gradients that I have. Um, so I'll just pick a random gradient that I like and use a green. I have some other ones like the red. I might, I might try the red. Um, so with this done, uh, we're just going to duplicate this layer. So we're going to right click the actual text layer itself and go up to duplicate. And it's OK. So now we have two copies, one on top of each other. So if, with the text um, copy or selected, we we're going to edit, transform, flip vertically and when it's done it's flipped it upside down on itself so now we can either select it and use the move tool which is a shortcut for V on the keyboard or we can press down um, press on the down arrow on the keyboard to slowly align it but it's more of an accurate align um, leaving a gap of about 2-3 to three pixels it looks better um, that's pretty much it for that thing we can drop the opacity down while we're here as well. As you can see, it makes it look like a more reflection there. Um, it's around 30 around there. That looks good in itself, but um, people like to go a step further, and I, I generally like to do this as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to rasterize the, rest, uh, sorry, the um, type, which now makes it editable. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and grab the eraser. Grab a nice soft brush, a fairly decent large one, uh, roughly about 100. Have some hardness to it, so it's just easy to rub out. So for about 10 hardness. We're just going to start rubbing away the top of the um, letters. Just like that. We can bump it back up to about 40, 50 around there. I like to do this to make it look better. It's about 50%. Um, and there you go. Your quality of the image right now is quite poor, like I said before. 
So if you want to uh, look at the um, link in the description, it'll look a lot better. If you follow these steps, you'll be able to get a nice uh, reflection just like this. Um, so if you want to go ahead and save it, I'll just save as a JPEG. Um, put maximum quality just for this. And go open it. And there you go. Thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry about the um, video quality. Um, I'm looking at getting better screen things, with a screen caption, capturing program. Sorry. Um, so I hope you guys liked it. Please comment and um, write. If you want any more tutorials yourself, just um, request them in the email linked in the description as well. So yeah, thank you guys. Talk to you later.